on the annexations, Putin, and socialism, by Sysok, 2022 See sources in description. This content was created by the author of this YouTube channel. For a long time, self-proclaimed progressive leftists and socialists have had a fascination with Putin and Russia, with the national self-determination struggle of the Nova Russia and with the quote-unquote national liberation of the Donetsk and Luhansk so-called People's Republics. In light of the annexations of the Ukrainian regions, the myth of a possible socialist supporter of Russia or Noval Rossiya must be shattered. Putin said at the annexation ceremony the following, quote, Today we will sign treaties on the accession of the Donetsk People's Republic, Lugansk People's Republic, Zaporizhia region and Kherson region to the Russian Federation. End of quote. We Marxist-Leninists are vindicated about unmasking and pointing out to the working people the error of the worship of one or another ruling capitalist class under the guise of quote-unquote Marxism-Leninism. For eight years, we saw no building of socialism, which is the abolition of classes according to Lenin, but rather the introduction of Russian capitalism into the lands and the worsening conditions of the working people. The following is a list of observed interactions between Russia and the Donbass, the introduction of 600,000 Russian passports in 2019, with 800,000 as of March of this year. Pensions paid out by the Russian government since 2016. Adoption of the Russian ruble. Donbass schools following Russia's national curriculum instead of Ukraine's. Celebrated the June 12th day of Russian independence from the USSR. Lifted trade restrictions late last year. Ruling parties that supported Putin were in power. Early last year the Donbass received Russian COVID vaccines despite Russia denying it did so. The region has regularly cracked down on labor organizing and strikes. Used slave prison labor. Wages have often gone unpaid. Migration into Russia of experienced labor was encouraged. Heavy industry switched ownership from nominally Ukrainian SKM financial group to South Ossetian, Russian-controlled. VTS. Credit to Reuters and Jacobin for information in this list. The slogan of People's Republic was traditionally one of worker power. Today, People's Republic as a slogan was perverted, in the fashion of Russian capitalism, towards the envelopment of regions into imperialist Russia, and Friday's annexation speech vindicated the view that it had no intentions of carrying out socialism. As we Marxist-Leninists have said from the beginning, this is an inter-imperialist war for the satisfaction of only the Russian capitalists on one side, and the Western capitalists on the other. We, as staunch internationalists, pro-working people, stand against all war that benefits only the ruling class. Today, we are vindicated in saying all along that the so-called pro-Russian socialists were wrong. Early during the 2014 crisis, we heard reports of LGBTQ plus folks being repressed in the Donbass region. So-called progressive forces declared who cares, and demanded to support the homophobic capitalist states. Today, upon the annexation of these four regions, Putin declared the following during the annexation ceremony, quote, Let's answer some very simple questions for ourselves. Now I would like to return to what I said and want to address also all citizens of the country not just the colleagues that are in the hall, but all citizens of Russia, do we want to have here, in our country, in Russia, parent number one, parent number two and parent number three, they have completely lost it, instead of mother and father, do we want our schools to impose on our children, from their earliest days in school, perversions that lead to degradation and extinction? Do we want to drum into their heads the ideas that certain other genders exist along with women and men and to offer them gender reassignment surgery? Is that what we want for our country and our children? This is all unacceptable to us. We have a different future of our own. End of quote. Putin outright repeats the lies of chauvinists. They repeat the lies of some trans ideology that seeks to destroy parenthood, to destroy the future for pleasure to satisfy personal intrigue at the expense of reproduction of the entire working class. The idea of queer folk, being a persistent, small, yet marginally oppressed people who only want recognition, desiring to completely and totally destroy a population is ridiculous. Additionally, for all the so-called Marxists who act as a mouthpiece for the Kremlin, here is something irreconcilable with Marxism. Quote, this complete renunciation of what it means to be human the overthrow of faith and traditional values, and the suppression of freedom are coming to resemble a religion in reverse, 
pure Satanism, exposing false messiahs, Jesus Christ said in the Sermon on the Mount, by their fruits ye shall know them. These poisonous fruits are already obvious to people, and not only in our country but also in all countries, including many people in the West itself. End of quote. Materialism is the philosophy of Marxism, and it means understanding that matter is primary and our perceptions, ideas, and the mind are byproducts of matter. Ideas of religion, Satanism, faith and traditional values are all secondary to the primacy of the material world insofar as they exist as byproducts of ignorance of the world. As such, not only is materialism itself irreconcilable with this religious dogma, it should even be irreconcilable with the vulgar materialism that transphobic leftists often use. One thing is certain, by their fruits we shall know who is not a Marxist-Leninist, or even socialist. In order to be an international socialist, one must stand against the capitalist class, and for solidarity of every subsect of the working people. Any and all who stand in the way of this cannot be called Marxist-Leninist let alone socialist. What are the fruits of the so-called people's republics? We do know that the working people of the Donbas have not been liberated from capitalism but rather have been further exploited by Russian capitalism, have been sold one brand of capitalist nationalism over another, promote religious dogma and faith over science and reason, and are completely divided amongst themselves and the vulnerable among them. Anyone who either denies these basic facts, or tries to uphold them, in the name of Marxism Leninism is not a real Marxist Leninist, let alone a socialist. We must utterly reject the thesis of a pro-Russian and pro-Putin Marxist Leninist or socialist. Workers of the world unite, 